items. Yep. And these are all through the KIPP organization, or are they just based on need for a curriculum development? Or yeah, I mean it's based on whatever the, the needs are of the kids are training at the school. Uh, sometimes it's sometimes it's other people in the KIPP network. Sometimes it's KIPP friendly consultants. Other times it's people that you know, local people who have no work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, you know, I have one question I don't think I've ever asked anybody is, what is your curriculum like? I mean, do you, do you have a particular, you know, language immersion program? Are you, you know, you have a particular math curriculum that you have selected? That, you know, a, a continuum type of program? You know, I'm just curious. It's a college never... prep curriculum. Um, I mean, yeah, the college is the focus, and then within that, teachers and the school really develops their own spoken sequence that will get kids to the level that we have. So for math, the curriculum, we've taken the Louisiana standards for middle school and punched basically five and a half years worth of standards into four so that kids leave eighth grade having taken algebra. Um, I think that's a requirement to get into 95% of the college prep high schools in the city is that algebra has been taken already. That's not... It's not until ninth grade that the kids take that according to the Louisiana spoken sequence. Mm -hmm. um, so we've taken that and redone the math spoken sequence according to that. Um, the science curriculum is just pooling resources. It's basically combining resources from all sorts of different programs. To make. So you know, by one publish, publisher's text program. We don't say no. No. Okay. Okay. Even with language arts, the same way you pretty much design in house teacher, all yeah. of your at kindergarten. Okay. We do. We do by curricular support programs um, from publishers um, for Java, for Java by literacy, but I, I mean, our teachers supplement so much with other mm -hmm. things also that it's hard to say that we're just one. Well, this, you know, the University of Chicago Math, there's Math for the Way, there's all these particular mm -hmm. programs. And yep, so we um, combine okay. both. So ba basically, you, you differentiate your curriculum mm -hmm. using a variety of resources. I mean, the thinking behind it is just getting other kids come in. Mm -hmm. Especially reading that, you know, everything we can do to be whatever level is the most beneficial for maximizing. How do you pre-assess that? How do you know what their level is? Um, we use Fountas and Pinnell for reading levels. What did you? Fountas and Pinnell. Um, and so every kid is assessed at the beginning of the year and then assessed every, every between three to four weeks um, as they go. Same with math? Um, Math is not that scientific, um, but it is the, the fifth grade math curriculum has a bunch of, it's a ton of foundational skills built in. Um, mm -hmm. And so the first few months are spent, these are the skills you'll need to be successful in fifth grade math this year, mm -hmm. and spent making sure all the kids get those skills before we even go into the fifth grade period. They're built into the curriculum. And yeah. kindergarten? And we have things, we have a variety of assessments. Mm -hmm. We're actually trying to streamline it take a rough cut picture of it a bit we are required to use the Dibbles assessment yes. for the mm -hmm. state mm -hmm. we're required to use the Tanner notebook for reading the long road mm -hmm. um, but then we supplement that with the math assessment oh yes the, that's a one I will tell you I think that's one of the best I think it's, it's a good there. one too yeah um, there's the a best. step assessment mm -hmm. uh, for literacy uh, we also did the Kathy Richards one we're going to get our Kathy Richards one assessing of math stuff is also and I'm sure you are always I shouldn't say I'm really sure you are but you are always probably observing and taking the formal assessment notes yeah, that's okay. such a critical piece of right <coughs> yeah I, I don't know if I ever told you this but I'm um, I've been a member of our district school board for it's been eight years wow. and in my last two months of eight years and we adapted the math um, assessment program at the house, I'm thinking five years ago. They have to take the ISATs, everybody has to take the state's relief from their ISATs, but we also do the math testing two times a year. And we have found that the results are so much better with math. You know, we look, we, we look at our ISATs, you know, we, 
because that's how we, our report cards are all based on real estate. But when you look at the growth from the map, it's an, I don't know if you know anything about it. It's, it's just a phenomenal. Yeah, that's exciting. It's so individualized. We, every child has their own plan. Karen, but I you need good technology for it. Yeah. I do have an 11 o'clock. Oh, I, yes. I have it no, that's teacher. fine. Um, that's fine. How long are you going to be around? We're <laughs> hanging out. I'd like to have, you know, I think I had a nice tour. Jen gave me an excellent tour in October of the building, but Todd hasn't seen the building since it was. So we'll be hanging out here if okay. you don't mind. No, of course, you're welcome to stay. I just have to run. No cake to today, teacher huh? Meetings. No cake. <laughs> no cake. It should have fun. I'll have to, Maybe yeah. some Subway sandwiches. Better do something. We'll have some Subway Maybe sandwiches. Subway sandwiches. Think about what we can do for you then over the summer okay. if you need us. Thank you. And that's probably the, this is actually the very last thing on here. So if you want to just, um, before we leave, we'll just touch base. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks okay. so much. It's good oh, to see yep. you again. Nice to see you. Yep. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks. Appreciate it. Come and talk. Great to meet you. You too. Thanks.